Okay. All right. Well, thanks for hopping on the the pair the pair train. Um, I am looking at this MR from a community contribution that's been open for a while, but we're just about to close it. And I was just wanting to do one quick test of it before we close it. And this does a really helpful update to this artifacts dropdown list on the pipelines uh, where it will refetch it um, when you drop down. So he has an example of this, of mm -hmm. sometimes you drop it down and it loads everything, but then the artifacts aren't finished or something. And then when you open it again, they're out of date. Uh, so I guess this is the beginning of the GIF. And so he's noticing that. And then I'm not sure what's going on now. All right, yeah, I guess we just ran a pipeline. That's, this, this is gonna live update something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the artifacts drop down is still, isn't updated. That's that, but yeah, that'd be a super, a super handy little uh, feature. Right. So then I, um, I kind of accidentally delayed this longer than it probably needed to be because um, it was clearing out the artifacts on every open, and so even if it failed, it would just be okay. I reopened it and now it failed and now I've lost the old list. Mm. So my thoughts were, what were my thoughts? Do we really need to clear things out? But that sparked a whole conversation like UX. And finally, we're ready to go. Uh, but I just wanted to test it with us and I forgot, I forgot I I knew I had a I knew I had a pipeline with an artifact somewhere but I don't think I actually know where it is so I may not actually be testing this oh yeah oh oh, oh. no artifacts <laughs> well that kind of works like that eh, it works <laughs> Let me um let me block this URL though and see what happens again. All right, cannot load artifacts. Yes, that one couldn't load the artifacts. All right. Um I wonder if I can look at like my whole GitLab instance for a pipeline with artifacts. You know, like going to the admin thing. Maybe. I don't actually know how to go to the admin thing on the new navigation though. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> I, yeah, it's supposed to be, ah, oh, look at this. This is this is weird. Look at this. You click on the project name and that opens uh, up this whole area. There it is. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is looking at all jobs. I just want the artifact jobs. Do you, do you know if there's a project that has artifacts? I don't. I what I do is I create a uh, project, or I just create a pipeline in one of the projects that does kind of everything. I'm thinking like GitLab test. Yeah. Oh, this one doesn't even have a CI though. So maybe I think I GitLab sh GitLab shell I think does. Pretty good. The other thing I would do is start poking around in the Rails console, but who knows what the namespace on artifacts is. It's probably CI jobs, CI pipelines, jobs, artifacts. Let's see if there's an artifact here. Oh, oh, this one has an artifact. Wait, no, that's after script. Uh, oh yeah, this one has an artifact. All right, somewhere. Let's see if we, let's see if we can keep it. Jeez. I'm, I'm, I think I'm just, oh wait, 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 oh wait. Can I run the, can I do the, 
ah, the, the pipeline's sweating. I was like, can I do the review app? <laughs> I'm so lazy. I don't want to start my GitLab runner and just do this. Should I just start the GitLab runner and just do this? Or are yeah. we, do we feel like this is just going to be, do we feel like this is going to be fun? We can, we can make a really quick uh, dummy job. Oh, do you, wait, you don't have a runner at all. I have it. I probably don't have it set up yet accurately. Maybe I do. Let's see. Um, let me start this over here. I think I found it here. Yeah. Boom. Let's go. Uh, I think I want to do. Um, It's like built into the GDK now, hey? No way. Is it really? Yeah. It's a little it's a little complicated to set up oh. uh initially, but I don't know. Do you have Docker? Do you have something Docker-ish? I'm in Mac land. So not I uh, no, I don't. But I, I have it running here. Uh it's freaking out on some things, but that's okay. It'll figure itself out. Um, let's go ahead and create uh, another one of those block rocking projects. Um, create like a little artifact thing. Oh, yeah. I wonder if there's actually instructions for that here. Oh, yeah. Create artifacts. The raw template project fits perfectly. Oh, maybe I should just do that. Let's 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 leave this and create the the new template project. New project. Uh, create from template. Use template. Another one of those block rock and roaring projects. Okay, we've we've been initialized and cool. We've got some stuff there. Maybe let's create like a merge request and see what happens. Um, open this up in the web IDE. Let's target. To a new branch, boom. Create an MR, boom. Create a merge request. Oh yeah. Let's go. Ooh, pipeline's running. Even with the past job, it's, oh. it's already going. Let's go. Wait, we should go to the pipeline. We should go to the thing right now. Ah, oh. okay. No artifacts. No artifacts. All right. Don't cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Unit test job. There's some sort of job here that it doesn't like. I don't know what that is. Another. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I guess that, that is a lot of warning jobs. I think all those jobs require Docker, though. That's that might be why. Oh, oh, seriously? Yeah, because the like uh, the the, uh, the SAST stuff, I think, pulls down a particular image, or tries to, anyways. Yeah, all these default jobs. Flash analyzer. Yeah. Yeah, what in the world is slash analyzer? That would be the pass within Something the Docker the container. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but so we, you you might not actually get any artifacts, anyways. Okay. I don't know. Right. Let's, let's see. Ah. 
Yeah, there's no there's no artifacts. All right. That's okay. Go to I the can... go to the go to the go to the go to the pipeline editor or something. We can add a job real we can just edit a job real quick, probably. Okay, let's let's open it and the web ID. Yeah. And let's just add one. Yeah. Um we're gonna call it the So so yeah. At this script. Artifact job. Sure. Stage test script. Um, echo, hello, redirect. Hello. Oh, oh, I and see. Then, you want to like, you wanna... direct it into a file. Uh, test artifact dot biz. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, let's see here. You need an artifacts block. How come and there's no I, artifacts? Like, wait. Because they're all defined in these templates. Oh, look. Yeah, they're included. Ah, uh, yeah. What do yeah. I need here? And then I think it's file. File. Test artifact.biz. Hold on. Let's, let's look this up real quick. Artifact. Artifacts. This is why I use the, the pipeline editor a lot of the times. <laughs> artifacts. Paths. 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 List. Oh, list? Like this? Yeah. No, no, no. Like a like a tick. Like this thing. Like a like a YAML list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing. Uh path. Path. No, 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 no. This is the path now. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just this, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I, I I'm gonna actually do a handful. We're gonna we're gonna and I don't know. You could do you could do startup is then. I can? Yeah. OK, we are 100% committing every, all the business. All the biz. <laughs> all the biz. All right. How many, do you think five is good? Uh, you know what you, we should do? What? We should, we should split this up into a couple different jobs to get the full effect. Oh, man. That's a so you should. There's this like sleep. Do you see this sleep job, the unit test job? Yeah. Put some put an artifact block on that. Like move some of them down there. Okay. Because then we have like 60 seconds, right? Not all of them, just some of them. Yeah, I like I like that. Something like this. And then yeah, 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 yeah. And clearly this is our artifacts, paths, all the biz. All the biz. There you go. I should do her. Yeah. Uh, just haphazardly committed is like sure that's good yeah no pipeline there very clearly of course no. oh of what happened of course this is why like, this is this I is know. why i use the I pipeline know. editor no, for I this know. stuff <laughs> uh, all right so i'm gonna view this file here and i can edit in pipeline editor is what you're saying yeah and it's it's not gonna like it because something about it is unlikable Line um, twenty seven, column seven. Not find expected and line twenty seven. It doesn't like the wild card. Oh, it doesn't do wild cards. I'm staring at the docs. Maybe you have to indent it a couple spaces. Although that's not usually how YAML works. Yeah, okay. Um does it need to be like this? I think that's, I think it needs to be like that. Oh, um, yeah, I guess so. I wonder what, uh, oh, you know what? You know why? Because YAML, the star is like yeah, right, reference right. blocks or something, right? Yeah, right. yeah. Could not, you can only create or edit files when I'm on a branch. Oh, that wasn't a very good experience at all. Ah. Uh... All right, I'm going back to my web ID. Sorry, man. <laughs> All right. But well, I, I also don't make MRs for this stuff. I just commit straight to master and call it a day. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the right way to do pipelines, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We've updated it. This. That's not our latest one. The one, the, the, one. The, 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 running, the running one is the latest one. Oh. Yeah, that's confusing.
Okay. Yeah, yeah look at All that. Right. Why is it? You should, have, you should have artifacts now. I don't know. I do. What is yeah. that? Artifact job archive? What is that? So that would be all your your business. I think I think when you do a glove, it like zips them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. I click on this one. Ah, uh, yeah. And the file. Okay. This isn't anything related to this MR, but I click on this. And the we should probably like name the file a little more probably. specific. If I have a whole bunch of different ones, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. But we got unit test is sleeping right now. Sleeping and doing its thing. So what you're gonna wanna do for the for the runner GDK is you're gonna yeah. wanna you're gonna wanna in install uh Colima. You're a you're a CLI kind of guy. Look, yeah. it's there. It's there. It's there. We've the problem is fixed. Let's block the thing now. Failed to update. Look at how pretty that is. And it still shows. Ah, so pretty. So pretty. I'm so happy. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Ship it. All right. Thanks so much for working on working on this. It's a great improvement. Looks good to me. All right. Let's pick a GIF. Um, we're gonna have to go Miyamoto because we can plan some Pikmin Four demos. Uh, be fun. Uh, have you checked out Pikmin Four? I have not. I have not. It's worth checking out. It's pretty fun. Is it as fun as uh, Pataponta? Ooh, the uh, <laughs> rhythm game. Um, I hadn't gotten to play that one. I remember we talked about it. And I still haven't played it. I, I need uh, to. Uh, no, I'm currently waiting for my work day to end, so I might play Baldur's Gate 3. That's where we're at. Nice, 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 nice. It's a different vibe than Pikmin 4, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You got to start a pipeline. Um, yes, I have one already started and running. Um, uh, pipelines. This is the old commit. I want to double check that this is relevant. Artifact drop down of any rows fetch thus at least two when live update shifts. Yes, I love this page refresh, but is ah. <laughs> I love it. Let's do it. Um, do I have to drop in the merge request? No. You sure? The change log, the change log is supposed to be smart enough. Okay, I won't do it this time. Do you do that often? Yeah, I do. It All says right. you can optionally. I can optionally do it. That's what the documents claim. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that was great. Um, yeah. If you don't have something, I have a weird thing. Uh, right. So um, let me copy this note. Oh, pipeline editor? Oh my gosh, leaving that. That's cool. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Um, so this is about the scope is around tests, and test constants, and all of that. But the real thing that's irking me is we have in our internationalization guide, externalization, um, in test files, we have this requirement to translate in the test values yes. themselves. And that creates yeah. all sorts of inconveniences. Oh, does it? For sure. Because um, it would be really nice to say, to have content, for instance, um, this is the example that comes to my mind of... <laughs> So like here, if I am in prod code and I have this kind of thing, but my sprint F is just legitimately wrong. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it would be nice to have a hard coded value here of like, what's the actual text I expect from this thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Um, and so the thought came up when we were talking about this is why is the translation functions, why are they even functional in unit test land? Like we should probably just stub them to not do anything and just return whatever string was actually passed to it. Mm -hmm. So that's my, um, that was my MR I was going to try to put together was in unit tests, we mock out double underscore and what do you think? How does that solve our S print F problem here? I see what you're saying. The reason we, the reason the the guide suggests doing this, is because of Jihu. Jihu's default context is not English, and so these translation functions actually run, and their tests locally fail mm -hmm. because it's actually doing the the translating of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so my my thought is. Can we just make an environment that works on both our machines and Jihu's machines so that we, we're not constrained to, you know what I'm saying? And we also can't just throw, like, the other thing, too, is I we can't just throw a new value into a translation here because Jihu won't have that translation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, that doesn't matter, though, because it'll just fall back to the English one. Right. On the test assertion, it'll still fail on their machine. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the other idea would be, I'm not going to actually edit this, but like if we did um, uh, yeah, you have foo items. It'd be nice to say, I expect this to be yeah, you have funky items you know, whatever the bar value was. Right. Uh, this will fail on their machine because the production code is always, even in unit test land, is always running the translations for them. Right. What do you think? I want... I like ideally I want like a matcher. Yeah. Because like so this is this is this is a pain to do. I'm with you. It should be like a fixed value, right? Like the the developer experience of of the of copying like S printf under underscore blah 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 is not great, right? Yeah. But I wonder, plus like importing everything and all of that, like it's a. Oh yeah, and it's also like not great coverage because like we shouldn't reuse. The point too, and so the larger point here is like let's not use. It's okay, for the test. To have a separate oracle, than yeah. the values we're using in the production code. Yeah. So we have we have the matcher um, to match interpolated text. Yeah. And I think it kind of falls down because it just, as far as I'm aware, it just strips these. Um, yeah. Strip strips the S per F formatting. Yeah. And I wonder if we can beef it up somehow to like take to do the S print testing for us. I think that's a good idea. I think it's, um, I think that's a separate problem than the problem at hand. Mm. Um, the problem at hand is like the production code runs differently on different worldwide developer machines. Mm. So the actual 
will not be deterministic if it runs on my machine or if it's running on Jihu machine. That's seems to be the, and as I interpreted, the root cause of the problem is not necessarily has to do with sprint F, but more has to do with that why is this question. not a deterministic value in our unit test land? Why is it machine specific? And that makes the assertions fail because if their assertions then have to also figure out how to adapt to the machine. And in some ways, sprint F is the most obvious one. In some ways, it's very inconvenient to make it adapt to the GPU machine. So my, my desire would be to get rid of this requirement. I would love to get rid of the requirement to have to translate this thing. Mm -hmm. That's my main problem. I don't think that like I don't think this is the 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 the, the issue that you claim it is, right? Because if the Jihu machines are pulling, if everybody's doing underscore underscore, right, then it should translate all the way through regardless. Right? Like I'm missing, I don't know, I think I'm missing yeah. where where using underscore underscore falls down. Is it just that we have to use it? Is that the issue? Is that the problem? Um, right, right, right. Where it falls down, so one is that we have to use it, and that's not consistent, and that's that's one. Clearly, it's not great having to use that. But the other thing yeah. that happens is the underscore underscore, we can't introduce new strings into the test. So it has to be translatable strings. Our translation stuff doesn't look at tests at all. You know what I mean? Right. Isn't that more an issue with SPRINF then? Like, why are we introducing? It It could be SPRINF, but it could also be, hey, we actually have two different messages side by side. And then I just have one test that wants to include the whole thing. Just check for the whole thing. Uh, or just check that... for part of it. Yeah. Yeah, and that is annoying. So it's, it's just tightly cup because of this requirement, we've tightly coupled a lot of our assertions to, we have to reuse the exact same code that we did in the production thing, rather than just hard coding a string it would be kind of nice and easy and actually make some of our stuff stronger. Then why don't we like make like force tests to run in in English or something then? Yeah, that's that was <clears throat> yep. I would love to do that, um, and I brought that up, but it sounds like that's not a possibility. Um, so there's an internal Slack thread. Uh, I don't think I did. I link to it. Let me see. I would have called it internal Slack. Thread. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, for some reason, uh, and, and, uh, Lin Jin Shen, also known as the God Fat, uh, yeah. he is the one that was, I think, collaborating more closely with Jihu on setting up whatever they needed, but for whatever reason, they do need to, to run in a different locale. Okay. So my goal is, okay, let's just unit tests. Probably we shouldn't be running translations. Like this is unit test land. That's tested separately. So let's, let's just mock out this localization functions. Yeah. Okay, I think I see where where you're coming from. Yeah, why not? Let's okay. do it. Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> now, one of there's is gonna be a downside is like <clears throat> S and N have behavior to them, so S's S's behavior is right. It's trivial, fine. and N's behavior is trivial too. So it's it's you know what I mean. 
ends ends is a little more complicated. You think so? Right. I feel like ends is actually easier. Ends well, no, because like, what do you have to do with s's? If s's, you just return it, and then you don't have to do the stripping. I don't think. I guess I guess people out there will be like expect text to be. Yeah, I think we'll want to do the stripping of the thing. You don't think so? I guess so. But ends ends, you still have to. You definitely have to do the uh, the like length checking too. Or the or the number checking. Yeah, yeah. And so <clears throat> I think these are both one liners. I'll, we got to make them one liners. We could totally do it. Yeah. So we're still we're mocking them out, but they still have to like. They're just not doing the translating part. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. that's the downside to it all. But I have a feeling it's. I have a feeling it's going to be worth it. Uh, but if we don't like it, I mean, I may we may do it and then be like, no, this sucks. Uh, that's fine too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my my bigger complaint is the S for F stuff because that that's what makes actually using these translations like a pain, right? But I guess if we just eliminate yeah. that, then it doesn't matter. Well, I think the goal would be we S print F shouldn't show up in tests at all. Like you should just test this is the hard coded string I expected from all of this, and then if you end up with weird funky variable names showing up in your actuals, like that should be glaringly obvious that like you didn't use s printf correctly yeah yeah um okay so let's try it out um i think the first thing to do is um uh check out the locale because i don't even know where these things come from um oh that's our locale spec i think i think uh if i remember correctly we we have done this pretty much on our own with the exception of we farm out to we we call out to some imported locale function for doing the get text translation ah so maybe that's all we have to um mock that's interesting right so we wouldn't yeah. have even have to do the actual stuff so yeah. like in in get text. What is this locale? Oh, it's Jed has a thing. Jed is our is our thing. Um well maybe it's just a matter of setting window.translations to nothing or to like empty or yeah. What do you no. think? worth a shot i think it's i think it's um yeah well it's like the smallest way to do it i think right <clears throat> i'm really confused then how is how is jihu running into issues here <laughs> right where's the where does their translations come from unless they're well, we set a, windows that's how we had a we had a locale helper. Well, Windows translations. Uh, that's a good point. PO to JSON, stringify Jed, Jed, convert PO to Jed. Um, well, this is for web workers, right? Is this? Or scripts front end. There's a, I saw there was a locale helper in the spec in the spec section. I wonder okay, if that's kind of. That. Hmm. That's not helpful. <laughs> yeah. Is there something, does the, is this, is that PO to whatever is that called by the just like test setup file? The locale helper? Yeah. Or the PO to JSON? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to look at. Um, I think we might have to look at Jihu's code base. What about what? What, what does the what does the test setup do? Because like presumably this is a problem for more than just Jihu too, right? Like if I if you run the tests in in French or something, maybe it. Right. I wonder. Do we have maybe we have docs on how to do that? Like you know what I mean. <clears throat> Maybe run yeah. the test with non-default local. 
Um, let me do something like run pass non default. Program. Maybe I can try to set the language like I don't know. I want to recreate the problem. I'm trying to trying to do that. So I, I guess I need a test that uh, has like a to be that's not translated. Uh, so I don't see anything in our shared test setup that would um, all right. Load here's, here's a test. Right here's a test that. Should have, oh, geez, okay. <laughs> Here's a test that should have that. Okay, and then if I go to our test setup, let's see what happens if I run like at the very top set language to Is that Japanese? I thought it was JP. You're probably right. Um, let me double check. This is actually translated. Yes, this is actually translate string. Uh, I don't know if we actually have translations for this. Um, try it, try it, try doing like capital all caps lang equal JP and then run jet like before the just command, like set the environment variable. Um, oh, oh, I see. You mean like lang equals? Yeah. I see. Ah, uh, <laughs> the other question is, is there a trend? Is there yeah, like a Japanese translation of this string? I know. Let's try uh, Spanish. Mm. No, no, it's not translated. Well, I guess it just says message ID. I think there's a lot of, um, I think that uh, GitLab is mostly translated from, let me go to my preferences. Uh, Chinese is simplified. Oh, French is 99% translated. Japanese is 99% translated. OK. Should be there. So if we run this thing and we have the language set, oh, maybe I, I'll go ahead and change this to uh, Yeah, here. So, so it's it is getting translated here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, what actually happens in the um? We're looking for this thing called window.translations. And what in the world writes to window.translations? And we do this on import. Uh, the PO JSON. Get text or webpack? 
Um, so this only happens, yeah, look, this only happens, this is like, this, this is a script that actually runs this. Yeah. Best worker ID. What does that mean? Well, that would be that's this is still this is like forking the the locale processing out. I think right. Maybe it, maybe it's Webpack. Does it just use Webpack? Is that or no. just is on its own? Yes. PO to JSON main. Oh, if I do get text compile instead of generate. I guess I need to run that, right? I guess. X compile. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's doing stuff. There's now all these app JS files, all right? Loads of app yeah. JS files have been created. <laughs> Maybe it works now. Nope. What would load these um, locale apps, you know? What loads these things? application helper loads them so like Apple sprockets features. sprockets sprockets loads them rockets all right let's try this out i'm gonna which, imp i'm just gonna import one of them which suggests that like it shouldn't be a problem on uh front end test entire at all but like clearly it is because there's I I have a feeling that like the Jihu has some sort of thing that's doing this manually. You know? Yeah, that's possible. Like they are they have some some code loading these files that we just yep. don't have. Because yeah, as far as I can tell, what adds a certain locale to GitLab is like the Rails asset pipeline. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yes! I got the fix! All right. No se requiere un pipeline? No, pipeline. <laughs> pipeline. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't say people leaning. Uh, cool. Um, got it. We've got the failure happening. Brilliant. So now let's let's. I wonder if I even needed these set languages. I probably didn't. So let's let's see if that helps.
Okay, I didn't even need set languages. Sweet. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. All right, we got the problem. Um, so now let's see if we can uh so here's some here's the ideas we could possibly mock dead here and as a like a just mock or do we want to create a helper called mock locales or do we want to use a just mock thing I think I like the idea of a helper putting it in the like shared test setup. Okay. Because it kind of looks like, um, well, actually, I don't know. It doesn't matter, I guess. They're, they're equally, right? Do we want to mock Jed or do we just want to clear window.translations? I think I want to mock Jet because okay. if if they're doing something here, clearly they're it, doing something. Yeah. So I, I guess I, mocking mocking Jet is is uh, it it fits in any part of the pipeline, right? As opposed to trying right. to figure out where. It, okay. Right. Um. So here we go. Let's go. Mocking jet. Let's go. Um, is jet like a? Is that a? Is is there a character named Jed from something? All I can think of is uh, Jed Bush, uh, but it's Jed. So, but it's like Jed with the exclamation point. I don't know if you remember that. It's Jed. No. <laughs> I don't think I remember that. Uh, all right. Why do we not like it. useless construct? Come on, man. Okay. <laughs> man, it's calling my constructors useless. It's tough. All right, we have get text and end get text. Get text. Oh, this is one of my least favorite rules we have. The class methods use this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Single text, plural text, no. And we are... Uh, yeah. So we're going to do um, return num greater than one plural packs. Oh, wait, for zero, do you, should we jump into the, the source code and see what it does? Let's just jump into the source code and see what it does. Uh, and get text. Oh, my. Wow. What are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing? What is this? What is this? See, it's tricky. It but is. But I think, I think the default language. I think because we're trying to stub it out such that the English translations are always right, we need to follow the rules of English, which is to say that uh, only one is singular, right? I have no bacon. I have two. Oh, bacon's always. It's that's the plural bacon. All right, let's think of I a have, different. I have zero apples. I have one apple. I have zero I have apple. apple. You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're totally right. Yeah. I You're still right. One that. apple. I have zero apples. I have one apple. <laughs> I have negative one apples. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> OK. This is it. What happens? Oh, wait. 
Um, oh yeah, it should just work now. Uh oh, this should just work now. Oof. Export default class. Uh... Wow. What do you we think? Still need to, we still need to do sket text? Or... No, I don't think so. I think we could run our let's run our whole test feed. Well, let me <laughs> let's let's let GitLab run the whole test suite. <laughs> um, yeah, is there a test case that you're curious about whether it'll pass or not here? No, but I'm a little surprised that we don't need sget text, but I don't know what sget text is doing. Um, so when I'm in locale index and I look at, we, here's jet and we create this locale thing. We have get text and then we have in get text, but then we don't use it anymore. Like we just use those two functions of it. What's PG get text? Like PG. what is it? Get, yeah. That one. What are you doing? We are doing our, we, own. we, we pull it out. Okay. This is why I was a little. A little confused. A little, yeah, yeah. But it's cool that, you know, we don't have to do all of these. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try. Uh... All right. Yeah. So I think I think that it, this is. Is there any downside to doing it this way? I mean, like even mocking this out. Is is there a are we losing test coverage that we're concerned about? I don't think so. I I just feel like if if this was something we needed to test, it would be at a different level than here. Like the unit tests don't need to do this. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Do we do anything that are like integrated tests with translations that we have to worry about? I think that's I think... more. I haven't written any of those, so I don't actually know what they're doing. I think the like the feature specs or the front end integration test thing. The the front end ones, right? Because this I, I think those. I don't think those would be as concerned. I just feel like maybe feature specs make sense to like. That feature specs probably uh, makes sense to keep it like that. Yeah, but the feature specs don't run this mock, right? Like this mock only runs when Just is running. Yes. Yeah, and I'm fine so with that. I, I think we're okay there. Right. Um, why are we mocking Jed? Uh, I'm gonna link to this. Um, <laughs> just gonna link to it. Figure it out for yourself. Uh, it's possible that um, some environments run a specific locale, uh, locale. Uh, if the unit has run under this condition hard coded values will fail um, to make tests more deterministic across environments let's skip loading translations in fe unit does that sound good yeah how to test with a specific locale. Uh, what was our, yeah. Run, run, get text compiled. Don't forget that part. You're right. Run, 
compile to directly import any um, locale any app.js in at setup.js. I'll directly import, we'll just import Spanish. Give them give them a path at least, yeah. Yeah, like that. You could put a little star instead of Spanish. Oh, I'm just I'm gonna give them the whole thing to just import. Okay. okay. I guess one question that I haven't asked is why is it that Jihu is running these tests with the locale set up? Like, are yeah. we, by doing this, are we somehow breaking another thing that they need to test? I think that's a really great question. And I really don't know. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, my intent is to push this up and see what happens. And then yeah. if, if, if we need to revert it, then we'll revert it. So that makes sense. Okay. Hey, thanks for your help. This is good. I've got a, another meeting right now, so I got to hop off, but appreciate, right. appreciate Andrew. Have a good one. See ya. See you.